In this video, I'll be testing the North Face Wobona 6 against not just light rain, not just heavy rain, but also for rainy day ventilation. But before we do so, let's first check in on the tent. First, on the outside of the tent, in the vestibule, I checked the rain fly, and all the seams are taped like so. And for the inside of the tent, here's the general rule as to which seams are taped and which are not. This is the rain fly over here, which you can kind of make out from the inside of the tent. So basically, all the seams not covered by the rain fly have been seam taped, while the seams covered by the rain fly have not been taped. Let's take a closer look at the seams on the length of the tent first. So the black to yellow fabric seam is not covered by the rain fly, so it was taped. On the other hand, the mesh seam at the top here is directly under the rain fly, so it has not been taped. The width of the tent here is exactly the same. The mesh and pocket seams at the top are not taped. The black to yellow fabric seam is taped. And the back door here is also not covered by the rain fly, so it has been taped all around the door. And check out these vertical seams. Most of these vertical seams have been taped, but only up to this part here. So when the vertical seam gets covered by the rain fly, the seam taping stops. And for the flooring, I thought at first that this was a bathtub flooring, but on a closer look, I noticed that there's tons of seams on the flooring, like so, so this is not a tub floor. Thankfully, every single seam on this flooring has been taped, like the top seams, the bottommost seams, this part here, and also the corners have been nicely taped. And now let's get to the rain test that you've been waiting for. I put this Wobona 6 through about one hour of fairly light rain, not super heavy and it looks something like this. After the hour was up and the rain stopped, I didn't find a single leak inside this Wobona 6 at all and it held up super well. As for light rain ventilation, I found that I could leave this window guide out, kind of creating a vent in the light rain for some ventilation and no water got into the tent through this vent. Unfortunately, I forgot to leave this smaller vent open, but I'll do so later in the heavy rain test, so stay tuned for that. One more point here, even in the light rain, you won't be able to use the back door though, because all the water just drips off the rain fly and onto the door fabric. But apart from that, this will bonus 6 is a champ in light rain, staying completely dry while having ventilation at the same time. And because the light rain test just wasn't heavy enough, here's my second rain test, the heavy rain test. So this was my heavy rain test, and it rained super heavily for about 3 hours and I think I put every single part of this Wobona 6 through an insane amount of heavy rain, like so. In fact, it rained so heavily that after a couple of hours, my entire yard was flooded. It went from not flooded at all, like this, to completely flooded, so flooded that the water was up to my ankles, like this. And when I checked my Wobona 6, I found that the entire bottom of the tent was completely submerged in the water. And one of the corners of my Wobona 6 was even sitting in like 2 inches of water, like so. And remember what I mentioned at the tent check at the beginning of this video? This is not a bathtub flooring. So let's check in on the tent now and find out if the seam taping held up against this insane rain. Okay, so this is me unzipping the vestibule, and well, of course, the vestibule door has been completely soaked 
in the rain. In fact, the vestibule door has water dripping off the roof the moment I open the door. But I really like that the door to the inner tent is fully covered by the vestibule and isn't anywhere close to the vestibule door, so no water will leak in when I open the vestibule. This is a really smart design and I love it. Now we're inside the tent and from what I can see, I don't think there's a single drop of water inside the tent. Let's check the seams at the corners because that's probably the most vulnerable in the heavy rain and this was the corner that was like submerged in two inches of water. Honestly, there isn't any leakage at all. Even when I pressed down on the seam gently, there was no dampness at all. I'm actually very pleasantly surprised that this corner didn't even leak at all despite sitting in so much water for at least an hour. I also checked the rest of the seams and none of them leaked. After that, I checked all the fabric around the tent. I checked the flooring and it was still dry from the inside. I checked the black tent fabric at the bottom of the Wawona and it was still dry. I also checked the yellow fabric up further up on the tent and it was also still dry. Considering how much rain poured over this fabric for hours, I'm very pleasantly surprised again. I also checked the mesh on top of the yellow fabric and it was dry, but that's to be expected because it's directly under the rain flag. And also I unzipped the mesh of the back door to check the fabric for any leaks and it was still dry even after being exposed to a crazy load of rain as well. Now for heavy rain ventilation, I have four points to talk about here. First, this door at the back of the tent has to be closed because the rain fly doesn't cover it at all and so much water just flows over it. I mean, it can't even be opened in the light rain, much less the heavy rain. Second, this Wawona 6 has these two windows and these windows have to be closed from the outside or rain will drip into the tent from the mesh of the windows. But thankfully, I really like that these two windows can be dyed out and become vents that look like this. And despite the heavy rain plus relatively moderate winds, I found that these window vents didn't leak in the heavy rain at all. Third, this Bowona 6 has also two of these smaller vents. I left one open in the heavy rain and the other one closed. For the open vent, I noticed that it's kind of almost facing downwards and it's the perfect angle that water doesn't go into the tent at all. After the heavy rain, I checked the vent from the inside of the tent and the mesh of the vent was still completely dry, so no leakage here. And fourth, apart from the vents, there's also a small gap between the rain fly and the ground at the vestibule for some ventilation during the heavy rain. The ground is a little bit flooded, but you can still get some ventilation. I put this Wawona 6 through not just one afternoon of really heavy rain, but a whopping three afternoons of really heavy rains. And after the third day of heavy rain, I noticed that the back wall of the tent, this wall with the back door, was slightly damp from the inside. It didn't drip into the tent or anything, but my hand was slightly damp from touching the wall. And it was only this wall that was slightly damp after the three day heavy rain test, while the rest of the walls were still completely dry from the inside. I could be wrong about this, but I think it's because this back wall was exposed to the most rain. For the sides of the tent, there's this guy out point on each side that allowed me to guy out this window vent, which I think gave the Wawona a little more rain coverage. On the other hand, the back wall doesn't have a guy out point, the rain fly is much closer to the tent body, so less rain coverage and more water over the tent, hence the slight dampness. But overall, despite the slight dampness after three days of heavy rain, the North Face Wawona really blew my mind when it came to rain protection. I didn't expect the rain protection to be as good as it was considering that the rain fly wasn't even fully protecting the inner dome tent. However, at the same time, I get that a non-full rain fly is a little better for ventilation. I think this Wawona's partial rain fly really strikes a good balance between rain protection and ventilation. And also, I really love the seam taping inside this Wawona 6. There are so many tents I've come across that didn't even fully tape their seams and you'd need to seal them yourself, but this Wawona tent is completely seam taped thoroughly and perfectly. If you buy this brand new, you won't have to do any seam sealing yourself. 
overall, I really like the North Face Ramona. I'm really happy with the rain protection and I feel really lucky to have been able to put this tent through the worst rain I've seen all year. But that's not all I tested with this Wawona 6. For a full review of this North Face Wawona with more than 20 tests, not just this rain test, check out this video on the screen here. Thank you for watching this rain test. I hope you liked it and I'll see you in the next one.